Okay, the solo uh, sounds quite odd at first when you try to practice it, but once you put it into the song, uh, my version should sound correct. Uh, if you've got any problems, then mail my YouTube account and I'll try and do it again. Um, but from what I can work out, she always starts with a series of bends uh, on this half of the neck and then she'll slide up over here later. So starting off on the 6th fret, you're bending up twice, it's always twice bends, and it's got to sound uh, not right, if you know what I mean, that's her kind of style of playing. So it's a double bend on the 6th fret and you're not quite bending up uh, a full semitone. If you just listen to my guitar you should kind of work out what it should sound like. Then you're moving on to the G string 5th fret. So together that's... Then your 3rd fret on the B. 2nd fret on the G. So, so far I've got... Then you move up a fret on the G string to the 3rd, bend that twice. Then here it changes slightly, you're on the D string 3rd fret and you're going to bend it once slowly. Then move up to the 6th on the D string and bend it again slowly. So all together that will sound like this. Uh, after that you can finish by sliding up from that last bend up to uh, some kind of note. Uh, I slid up to the 17th or the 18th. Uh, just slide up, try and make it sound kind of raucous and not quite right and you'll achieve the effect. Um, after that she kind of improvises by sliding up and down the neck um, to about... 15th fret on the G string, slides up about three or four times. Um, then comes the second part of the solo, which she plays in most versions, uh, which sounds like this. So it's a lot of sliding. You're going to slide to the 6th fret on the B string. Then I'm going to grab the 5th fret on the high E. Then I'm going to slide from the B string, the 6th fret you were fretting before, hold it down, up to the 13th. And then hit the 12th and bend it slightly uh, because she detunes her high E uh, in most of her live performances. It's part of the whole not sounding quite right bit. So here's how it should sound all together. You play it twice overall, and then she goes back to improvising. Uh, and what she's really doing is holding the same um, shape that we've been doing, which is one on the B string and then one a fret below on the high E. And she's just hitting random frets, alternating between the B and the E strings, sliding further and further up the neck. So. Uh, this might not sound very good, but here we go. Something like that. Um, after the solo, it quietens down again, and she plays uh, some chords before breaking back into the rock uh, sort of finisher. So I'm just going to turn my overdrive pedal off, which I've been using, and show you the chords. Uh, the first chord is this one, so that's a 6th fret on the G and B string, then 3rd fret on the high E, so all together they should sound like. Second chord, you keep your ring and little finger in the same place, and then use your middle finger to fret the 5th on the high E. Then you move up to this chord here, which is a tenth on the G and B strings, 
and a seventh on a high E. Then you do the same thing again and fret the ninth fret with your middle finger. So all together the progression should sound like After that she moves back into riff A. You can play riff B over the top as a higher octave accompaniment and throw in whatever finishes you'd like on there and you just play that until the song fades out. Uh, that's pretty much all I could grasp from watching the video of her playing it. Uh, if there's any bits I've missed out, mail my account and I can add something to this video or put another one up. But enjoy!